Much of the life and death of Adolf Hitler today remains untold and is up to debate. We know that he married Ava Brown in a rather morbid ceremony inside of the Führer bunker in the final days of his life, but the dictator of Germany did not have any recognised children. Any descendants of Hitler seemingly live in the world in secrecy and quiet, ashamed of their links to one of history's most evil men. However, there was a relative of Hitler who did serve Nazi Germany during the war. His nephew Heinz Hitler was also a member of the Nazi party, but was arrested on the Eastern Front during Operation Barbarossa by the Soviets. Arresting the nephew of Hitler was seen as a big coup by Stalin, but ultimately he was brutally killed inside of a Moscow prison. Join us today as we look at the brutal execution of Heinz Hitler, Adolf Hitler's nephew. Remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Heinrich Heinz Hitler was born on the 14th of March 1920 and was the son of Alois Hitler Jr. and his second wife Hedwig Heidemann. His father was named after Adolf Hitler's father Alois and he was first married to an Irish woman named Bridget Bowling. Together Alois Jr. and Bridget had a son named William Patrick Hitler as the couple settled in Liverpool. The child was the half-brother of Heinz and he would later live in America and would serve in the US Navy against his own uncle's forces during World War II. But Heinz Hitler would take a different path. It was reported that Heinz was a favourite nephew of his uncle Adolf, and he would grow up as a teenager living under the Nazi regime of his uncle. Heinz would be different to his half-brother, and would be linked to Nazism, and he would dedicate his life to his uncle's cause. At school he boasted about his uncle and who he was, the most powerful man in Germany, and he was sent to an elite boarding school, the National Political Institutes of Education, known as the Napola. This was found in Ballenstedt in Saxony Anhalt, and these schools were the focus of indoctrinating children into the Nazi ideology and way of life. The students who would attend schools like these were intended to become the future leaders of Germany, both in a military sense and politically, showing how well Heinz Hitler was thought of. They were comparable in their running to schools such as Eton, but they had an extremely strong focus on Nazism and the political ideology around it. For boys there was a highly militaristic education offered by the schools, and only boys considered racially flawless were accepted into the school. They were so strict that students who had poor eyesight were rejected, and it shows that Hitler had big plans for his nephew. Only those considered the strongest Aryans were allowed to attend, as well as those in excellent physical health. Whilst he was at school, Heinz Hitler would have been involved strongly in the Hitler Youth Meetings, and during the school holidays, would most probably have been involved in the Reichleber service, doing work on local projects. It was said that whilst at school and growing up, Heinz could have been considered arrogant, as he rode on the coattails of his famous uncle, with his famous surname. One of his classmates commented on Heinz, saying along with his friends, they drove through Magdeburg crazy without a licence, and when stopped by the police, Heinz showed his identity documents, and because of who he was, the police just saluted him, and let him continue. But Heinz Hitler dreamed of a career in the Wehrmacht in the military. He wished to become an officer, and a senior ranking member of the war effort. He trained inside of the army, to become a signal sub-officer, with the 23rd Potsdamer Artillery Regiment in 1941, at the age of around 20 or 21. But following his training, because of the launch of Operation Barbarossa, he was sent to the Eastern Front with his unit. Hitler had crossed Stalin and ripped up their previous agreements, and because of this he invaded the Soviet Union. His military objective was to smash communism, and take as much land as possible in the Union, to create more living space for ethnic Germans. With this he launched a huge offensive against the Soviets, which initially had a number of successes, with the Germans taking large amounts of land. It's believed that Heinz Hitler was a willing and excited soldier on the Eastern Front, as he had been indoctrinated by the Nazis for the need for the men to go and fight, especially against their enemies such as the Communist Soviets. He would have believed it was his job to be on the front lines defending what his uncle was also fighting for. It is considered 
that Hitler may not have liked his nephew fighting and risking his life. He expected civilians to fight for his cause, but may not have been keen on his own family risking their lives for it. Heinz Hitler fought for a number of months, but on the 10th of January 1942, he was given a mission to go and collect some radio equipment from an army outpost. But during this mission, he was captured and intercepted by Soviet Red Army forces, who then obtained his name and realised who he really was. Capturing Hitler's nephew was seen as a major coup for Stalin, and Hitler, the dictator of Germany, was very concerned about his well-being, and even offered an exchange of prisoners. He offered up Yakov Dugashvili, Stalin's son, in exchange for Heinz Hitler's safe return, and this would have been facilitated by the Swedish Red Cross. However, Stalin, outraged by the fact his own son surrendered to his enemy, he rejected this outright, practically condemning his own son to death. However, Heinz Hitler was kept inside of the Butyrka military prison inside of Moscow. He would have been taken into Moscow as a prized prisoner, but inside of here, he would be executed. The Butyrka prison was notorious for rather terrible conditions, and it was very overcrowded, with the enemies of the Soviets during the war, and it was known for its brutality. Whilst inside the prison, guards would beat and hit prisoners badly if they tried to rise up or refuse to adhere to the prison rules, and would even kill some. It's claimed that there were dozens of people in cells that were meant for ten people, and there was disease rife across the prison. Inside, Heinz Hitler was tortured, and it's believed beaten for information regarding his uncle. He was probably tortured a number of times, so the Soviets could use any intelligence they could against their enemy, the dictator of Germany. Heinz had inside information that no one else had about the family life of the dictator, but he refused to give over anything. He was brutalised by the Soviet guards, and was tortured so badly that he succumbed to his ordeal, and died inside of the Soviet prison. Heinz Hitler decided to take any information with him to the grave, and gave his life for the Nazi cause. He would have been beaten, and it can be interpreted that his death may possibly have been a mistake. For centuries, keeping high-value prisoners was a key thing for the armies, as they could later do deals and offer prisoners up for high-ranking captives from their own armies. It's possible that Heinz's death could have been a mistake, or on the other hand, it may have been ordered by Stalin, in reprisal for the anger caused by his own son's surrender. The death of Heinz Hitler occurred on the 21st of February 1942, roughly a month after he was captured. He was awarded the Iron Cross First Class, and was held inside of the VIP prison after his capture. But for Heinz, this prison would be the site of his brutal killing, and he's remembered today for being the nephew of Hitler, who served inside of his Nazi regime. It's likely that Hitler was very upset after the death of his favourite nephew. The demise of Heinz Hitler also touches on the brutality of Stalin, his regime and the prisons there, as Stalin would even reject the freedom of his own son, and refuse the prison swap. Heinz Hitler was a nephew of Adolf Hitler, who was tortured to death by his enemies. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.